Hello from the Richland Hills Public Library. I'm Miranda, the youth librarian, and this week we are studying and learning about all things pirate. So for our project today, I am going to show you how to make a boat um, out of recycled materials. And not just any boat, this boat, um, if we do it correctly, should actually move. Um, so you're going to need a bottle of some sort. Um, you're going to need some duct tape, uh, and as we get into the project, um, I'll talk a little bit about how you can actually use other things. And that's one of the really cool things about this project is there's a variety of different ways that you can do it. Um, but we're going to use duct tape and some rubber bands, and then we've got some chopsticks, and then we've got scissors and a couple of spoons. And actually, I don't think we're going to need these because we've got the spoons. Um, but I'll talk about how you could potentially use um, the popsicle sticks instead of the spoons if you wanted to. All right, so let's get started. So we're gonna take our bottle and our chopsticks. Let's get those out of there. Okay, and then our duct tape. You can also use hot glue for this part, um, but I figured, you know, why use hot glue, which is something that not everybody has access to when I can use duct tape, which is something that a lot more people tend to have access to. Okay, so we want our duct tape to be able to go around our bottle several times. So I'm gonna try, that's probably good. All right, so ideally the hot glue would hold the chopstick in place while we're taping, but we are just going to do our best to get it taped down. Oh, you know what? Probably need to give myself more room at the end here. So we're going to move it. We're going to move it down here and give ourselves more room here. Uh oh, we'll fix that in a second. My spoons want to stick to the duct tape. All right. So then you want to get your other chopstick pretty much even on the other side, as best you can anyway. Um, it's easier to eyeball it from this end than from this end. Um, and then since I've got my duct tape kind of taped down, we're just going to wrap. And fortunately, because it's duct tape, it does not have to be perfect. We just need to make sure that our sticks are going to stay in place. And they feel pretty solid there. You can see that I didn't get them quite even, but that's okay. It should be all right. Okay. So once we've got our sticks taped down, we're going to set that part aside. We're going to go to our spoons. I'm going to see... We only need the actual spoon part. We don't need the handle. Oh. <laughs> Be careful when cutting your spoons. <laughs> okay, and that can leave you with some sharp bits. So again, just be careful. And then we're gonna take our spoons and you're gonna have one this way and one turned the other way like that. And then we're going to duct tape them together. So let's get some duct tape. We don't need quite as much this time around, mostly because we're going to tear our duct tape into pieces. So we don't need as much. Okay. And then we are just going to wrap around our spoons. And this is where, again, hot glue can come in handy. Um, but as you can see, it is not necessary. Duct tape by itself works just fine. Okay. 
nice and sturdy, just like that. Then we are going to, let's see, as you can see my sticks are a little crooked. They uh, slant down. I think that'll be okay, um, but I guess we'll find out. So then you're going to take a rubber band and it's going to go over the end just like that. And then hopefully I made this. Yeah. Okay. Then you're going to take your spoons. Let's see if I can, so that y'all can get a better view. And I apologize for Miss Rosie barking in the background. We've had some nighttime visitors lately. We had a family of raccoons the other night and Miss Rosie, she just, she gets real excited about those raccoons. So you're gonna twist it up as much as you want to. Um, the more you twist, the more uh, you're going to be able to propel your boat, hopefully. All right, so. We have our boat built, now we're gonna go test it. Are y'all ready to test it? Okay, so here we are in my bathroom. Um, we are going to test out our ship and see how we did. Our water is a little bit lower than I planned on, but hopefully that'll be all right. So I've got it all wound up and we're just gonna let it go and see what happens. There it goes! Well, I mean, it didn't go straight, but look, look! Now it's going in circles! The spoon is scraping the bottom, so my water should probably be a little bit higher. Um, and it's also run out of... But there you go! There is our paddle boat that we have made. <laughs> and Miss Rosie, as you can see, is really interested in this. <laughs> so. The paddle boat, instead of using spoons, you can use uh, popsicle sticks instead. Um, and you can set it up with, instead of just two, you can have four. So it's more like a pinwheel. Um, and that gives you different movement, I would assume. Um, so that's something that you definitely want to test out and experiment with. Um, something else you might want to experiment with, although we can't really do it with the spoons because my sticks aren't long enough, um, but to see like where you place the rubber band, like if it's placed way at the end, does that move your boat differently than if it's placed right up here? Um, but of course, if you get too close, your paddle boat is hitting your bottle. Um, so I probably, in that case, would want to move my sticks even further down so I'd have more room to experiment with that sort of thing. Um, but there you go, lots of different experimentation that you can do. You can, uh, if you've got a big enough tub, um, or one of those like um, outside kiddie pools, you can test it outside. Um, but as you can see, the bathroom is a, is a perfect place to, to do your testing and experimenting as well. So thank you so much for tuning into our project today. I hope you had fun learning. Um, don't forget to take pictures. Um, you can share them with us on Facebook or on Instagram, or um, you can post them to our Summer Reading Club website and it counts towards your pirate mission for the week. So any of those count um, and just uh, let us know what you're doing and we'd love to see it. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope y'all have a good day.